Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Michael, you on? I don't see you. Amen. Okay, gentlemen, I'm going to start uh, our learning sponsors and then we'll get into today's Gemara. Okay. Uh, year of learning, Isaac and Evelyn Blachor, in memory of his sister, Chaya Rachel Bas Isser, friends of Leonie Meiserman, Leia Sabra Bas Chanoch Zundel, friends of Mel Skotsky, Moshe Zelig Ben Mordech. A month of learning, Mindel and David Cheslow, in memory of her father, Nehemia Ben Mordechai Yona Halevi, Heron and Mel Haller, in memory of her mother, Malka Rachel Bas Yehuda Leib, Yossi Goldstein, in memory of his father, Moshe Tzvi Ben Dov, Isaac and Edda Novik, in memory of his mother, Miriam Gittel Bas Chanoch Henech, Perry and Jill Meltzer, in memory of his mother, Malka Bas Baruch, and his sister, Golda Leah Bas Dovid Halevi. Steve is rabbi, ask her where? Okay, Tov and, and Leo Zimmer. Okay, Let, um, Avi Kupperberg should also be there. Tova and Leo Zimmer, in memory of her mother, Henya Bas Rebero, and her father, Aaron ben Yosef Mordechai. B. Pizer, in memory of her husband, Harav Yisrael Chaim ben David. Stanley Presser, in memory of his mother, Leah Bas Yehuda, his mother-in-law, Golda Bas Libor, and his wife, Ruchel Mincha Bas Moshe. Rabbi Dr. Yankee and Malka, Malka Honig, in memory of his mother, Rabbanit Hensha Ita Bat Chaim Yehuda. David and Sharon Karpel, Rabbi Tzvi and Robin Karpel, in memory of David and Tzvi's father, Zeb Moshe ben Shlomo Yaakov. A week of learning by Beverly Hersko, in memory of her father, Yisrael ben Chaim Tzvi. Marty and Judy Engel, in memory of his mother, Etta Sarah Basafayim Fischel Halevi. Sherry and Moshe Gross, in memory of her mother, Miriam Bat Meir. Barbara Gallendau, in memory of her husband, Avram ben Yonatan. Today is the 30th uh, Marvin and Hadassah Bienenfeld, in memory of his cousin Stanley Bienenfeld, Ephraim Shmuel ben Yehuda Aryeh, and that is it for today. May the Shamas have Naliya, Krenko, Fear, Velti, Yeshua, Shamatliya, and Chobane Israel, a good Kaben Shtia. Oh okay. Michael, you are? Okay. All right. Uh, we did, uh, we got up to the Mishnah on Zion Amul Aleph. So that's where we're going to start this morning. Okay. All right. Um, I, our previous uh, Gemara, yesterday's Gemara, made reference to the fact of somebody taking on more than one term of Nazirus. I remember we saw the question, was it, 61. okay, was it 3161, was it 3060, was it uh, Mitzat Yom Kekulo, things like that. Uh, is there anyone, by the way, who needs a text that needs a Gemara? There, I have hidden on the back, okay, some extra Gemara, just of Nazim. No, no, but I, I put away because I don't want them to get the, uh, hey, all right, if there's somebody who needs a text, let me know, please, okay, that's, okay, especially now that the Shabbos staff is in here regularly, aside, and that we are all in here on Shabbos uh, during the week, okay, and this way we don't have to schlep it back and, okay. All right, so let's look at this new Mishnah on Zion Amidala, four lines down. What? Sure. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So our Mishnah starts off, right? Amar, let's say the person making the vows is as follows. Hareini Nazir Echad Gedola. I am declared, the person declares himself as an, an anesthesia for a long period. Okay. Second, Hareini Nazir Echad Ketana. Uh, declares himself a Nazareth for a short period. Okay. Or the person says, I'm going to declare myself a Nazareth from here till, you know, the famous movie, Here to Eternity. Okay. <laughs> what happens? Nazir Shloshim Yom. Okay. According to the Mishnah, we're going to declare that, that in all three of those examples, okay, okay, the person is only going to be, I'm going to say, use the word for the moment, held responsible for one term of Nazareth ship of 30 days. That's because he has a hay, he's an alarm. Okay, so what happens? Had he phrased it slightly differently, the Gemara is going to ultimately lead us to say maybe it would be a different situation, okay? But notice what's going to happen is that as we go into the Gemara now, the, the, of these three expressions, the Gemara is going to question particularly the third one, okay? Am I? Why is that the case? Namely, when we say, Vaha mikan va'ad sofa olam, when we use that expression, which seems to mean that I would be a Nazareth, the person saying it would be for eternity, namely the whole rest of their life, right? Okay, it's really an unclear expression of Nazirut. And we don't know whether to interpret it in what way. Normally, the minhag is that to you in interpret it on a more lenient basis, okay? Because we might have thought the person could say, I will be, I, uh, I uh, take on this Nazareth ship for my whole life. Or it's possible to say, okay, taking on this Nazareth ship is as difficult for me as if it were that I were taking it on for the rest of my life. Okay, all right. So, okay, so that's the question the Gemara is asking, right? Why? Because that's what he said, all right? Mikan vad sofa olam kama, hachi kama. This is what he really meant to be saying. Aricha, when he said, I'll take it on for a long period. Okay, li hada milta, kimikan vad sofa olam. Okay. So it means it may be that he's saying that it's as difficult for me, okay, this thing of Nazirut, okay, as if it would lasted for a whole period, okay, to my entire life. So what happens now? The Gemara picks up and tells us the following. It's not this following new uh, Mishnah. Hareini Nazir Mikan Ad Makom Ploni. What about if a person were to say, I will be in Nazareth for the time from it takes me to get from uh, here to uh, Grove, okay? <laughs> All right? Okay? All right? Here to Fort Lauderdale, here to whatever, Miami. Okay? Some distance. Okay, what happens? Omdim kamayamin mikan va'adma komponi. Okay, the implication of the Mishnah is that we measure how many days it will take the person, assuming that they're walking, okay, to get from that the place where they're leaving to their desert to that designated location, and based on those days, okay, what would be the situation? Pachot mishloshim yom, if it were such that it would take the person less than 30 days to walk from, let's say again, Boca to Miami. I'm using that as our example. Okay, all right, what happens? Nazir Shloshim Yom. 
they, they would be considered a Nazareth for 30 days. Ve'im la. What? No, in other words, if it's le if the entire length of the journey walking would be less than 30 days, he's still given the minimum term of time he started to walk to the end. If we're still given the minimum term of 30 days. Why? Why? Because okay. I'm I'm saying walking because that was probably for many of them. Uh, that's different. That's different. I'm talking primarily somebody that was in Eretz Yisrael and going to another location in Eretz Yisrael. Okay. Ve'im lav. Okay. And if not, in other words, if it would take less than thirty days, I'm more, I'm sorry, more than thirty days. Nazir Kiminyan Hayamin, then we would say that that is to be determined the length of the time of the trip. If he was traveling, here's your Alan, here's your point. Okay, here, if he was traveling, let's say outside the boundary of Eretz Yisrael, okay, he's taking, let's say, a sea voyage, okay, and in that case, it was a certain amount of time, okay, all right, so that would be the length of the voyage, okay. Would therefore that would be the point. Okay? So what happens? All right? So here the Gemara wants to tell us something else too. <laughs> All right? Va'ema, and I might say Hachanami here too. Okay, why are we basing that on the number of days, this Mishnah? That, okay? Aricha li ha milta kimikan va'adma komploni. Maybe I should apply the same question that we raised earlier, as perhaps he's talking more about the difficulty of Nazareth ship being equal to the difficulty of, of traveling that length of time. And therefore, his Nazareth ship should only be a single term of 30 days. Okay. Amar Rava. And so Rava responds to this example, to this question, Shehechazik baderech, that he had already started out on the road, okay? And therefore we assume that the means that, that what he was referring to was the length of the trip, okay? That's the point. That's Rava's explanation, okay? All right, so the Gemara says, hold on a second. If you're dear, what? No, if it's more than 30 days, okay? Now, Gemara says, hold on a second. If you're already determined based on the length of the trip, okay, what do we really need to use the measurement of the days? Maybe we should use an alternative measurement to say how many terms of Nazareth ship should be applied to this person. Who knows? Okay. Well, yes, sir. Uh, apparently not. But because the expression is not clear. Because here he gives a definitive measure. Okay. That could be. I, you know, I'm saying I'm going from here to such and such a place. Okay. So there is an end point. Okay, we're going to get to that shortly later in the Gemara, where the question is, when one gives a determinant point, a precise deadline, does that change, does that uh, clarify the expression more? Okay? Yeah, of course there's a problem with it. If it's feasible to do, I can understand, but if it's impossible to do, it's a technical shouldn't be a statement at all. Well, but that's... But the person then shouldn't have made the vow in the first place. So it's 30 days. Okay, so therefore, since he made the vow, we it only have. Nothing. It's just what he said. But, he, but he, since he made the vow, we already, we accept it, and therefore we give him the minimum term. Okay? okay. So what happens? So the Gemara suggests, the parsa u parsa. Maybe we should. Uh, evaluate his uh, terms of of uh, Nazareth ship 
based on each parsang, all right, each section of the row. It was the stone. Okay. The all right. Row, uh huh. Okay. So what happens? Amar of Papa. Okay. So Rav, Rav Papa says, Ba'atra de lo mane parsa. Maybe it's a, a location where they don't designate parasangs. They don't designate they don't these things the on the on the roadway. Okay. Okay. All right. Exactly. Right. In fact, if you go to certain places in Eretz Israel, even today, you can actually see some of those uh, mile, mile, Roman mile markers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe in that case, okay, we should uh, determine it. Okay. In a different manner. Okay. By each, by each, let's call it, let's call it for the moment, station or night lodging, okay? And let's do it that way. He would travel so much so far, then have a, a camp or a building or whatever, and do it based on that, okay? Me, lo tanan, but isn't it taught elsewhere in a Mishnah? Hareini nazir ka'afar ha'aretz. What happens if the person says another kind of expression, okay, that I uh, declare myself, again, Nazareth, uh, for as long as the number of uh, dirt in the, on the ground, or to say, ar roshi, or the number of hairs on my head. Okay, ukechol, look who's talking. Okay, ukechol hayam, or the number of grains of sand by the shore. In other words, that is a very indeterminate a number, okay? If that's the case, maybe the person would need to be a okay? So what happens in those kind of cases? nazir olam. Maybe then we should consider the person a perpetual nazir, okay? All right, that's the case. Or what do we mean by a perpetual nazir? Maybe it's a situation where they are a series of terms, one following the other. We'll get there, okay? But maybe we should consider him a perpetual nazir. Okay. In other words, he has one term, cuts his hair, brings his offerings, then starts a second term, another again. And the cycle continues and continues. Because since it was an indeterminate number as to the number of hairs on his head or the number of grains of sand, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Ko milta de itbe kitsuta. But the Gemara now tells us any example, anything where there is a determinant, a fixed time or a fixed number, okay? What happens? Lo katani. We don't teach it that way. Okay? In other words, we understood it as a duration of a single ordinary term of Nazirus okay? in that situation. Okay? Vahatanya. But haven't we learned elsewhere in another bright? Hareini Nazir kol yamei chayai. If one makes a Nazareth vow for all the days of his life, Hareini Nazir olam. Then they are considered a perpetual nazir. Hareze nazir olam afilu meyashana. What if they say that again, I declare to be a Nazareth uh, for a hundred years, afilu elef shani, even a thousand years. It's okay. Ein ze nazir olam. In those situations, we will not consider the person a nazir olam, a perpetual Nazareth. Okay, why? Because the question is, could they, how do we know that they will even be around to finish that Nazareth? Okay, we don't know if they're going to live that long. Well, we know they're not. Okay, and so therefore there is, an, again, an example of an indeterminate uh, or fixed time frame, and therefore as a result, we assign it only a single term. Okay. Ella, what? But what happens? Ein ze nazir olam, ela nazir olam. Okay, 
but rather he'll become what's called a nazir with repeating terms in that situation. A nazir le'olam. Notice the difference in the language. Nazir olam versus nazir le'olam. Okay? So the one refers to a perpetual nazir, the other, what I'll call for the moment, a repeating, repeating nazir. Okay? No. No. Okay. Well, he can't. Malchus. <laughs> sure. All right. Rava Amar. Now Rava comes back. Okay. Since he, since we had this example of this indeterminate amount, right? What happens? He says, Rava. Shani Sero. No, the example of the vow used based on the number of hairs on his head. Oh, okay, right. But he chooses that particular example, Rava. Oil umuved alot zomizo, since they are separated one from another. Okay, and therefore that's why it is the, for him, it would, that's why he explains why it's repeating individual terms of Nazareth. Okay. Gabe yome nami, but maybe we would say regarding the days of a trip, okay? Like we saw before, maybe there too we should argue that they should be repeating terms of Nazareth. Hakativ, why? Why isn't that the case, right? Because we have a pasuk that says, vayera vayivoke yom echad, okay? That it was a single day. Hatam loved the Mifsuke Mahadadi. And there that Pasuk tells us that breaking up a day into separate portions is not clearly the case. It's a single unit. Okay. And therefore, my kama, what are we saying then? Yamama Valeria Chad Yomahu. That day and night, okay, are a single unit, a single day. Le'olam lo mefsake bahad mehadade, and okay, and we do not separate them whatsoever. So Rava comes back, and some say it was Rabba here. Doesn't matter. We have ben hashloshas. We don't know which day it is. Right? Doesn't matter. Okay, it's a day. Okay, right. Even though we talk about Erev Shabbat and Yom Shabbat also, okay, but it's still considered one unit, okay? Rava Amar says, Rava, Lama Lach Akshuye Koli Hai. So Rava asks, why having all these questions, all these issues? Well, why that? Okay, Shani Hatan. It's different there. Why? The Hakatani. Why? Because in that case, it's written. We learn hareni nazir achat, okay? Because there, in other words, in that situation, we're saying it's as if it's a single term of so nazir. He's saying that it's naziris lila. Okay. He's saying it's one naziris forever. He's a single ongoing, single ongoing. And therefore, you get haircuts every year. Yeah, every that was day. his argument before. So in other words, that would put him in the perspective of a per, 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 perpetual nazir, nazir mm -hmm. olam, where every after a certain period, he, whereas the other says, no, he is more of a repeating nazir. But a repeating okay. nazir is a sin because he's not enjoying life. Why that depends. That? But we saw that that wasn't held by everybody. That wasn't the case of everybody. Okay. Right? That's why we said, that's why it was brought in the Gemara, that he said, no, that was only his understanding of somebody who was a Nazir who became Tamil. Okay, not a Nazir who appropriately fulfilled their, their uh, Nazareth ship. That would not be a Nazir. Okay, that's why I mentioned, I don't know if you were there, when I mentioned that some would argue that that model was what was adopted by a certain other faith, okay, in terms of their clergy. Okay.
terms of abstaining from certain things. Okay. All right. They actually base it on other something else, and but we won't go into that now. Okay. So what happens, right? So now we start a new Mishnah again with a question of Hareini Nazir Viyom Echad. Okay, what if the person's statement was committing to Nazareth ship for one day? Right? And, and an additional day. One day for one and an additional day. Okay, I'm beginning the Nazir. So they commit it. So, and then one day. Okay, what or says Hareini Nazir Visha'acha. I commit myself to Nazareth ship and one hour. Or he says as following, I commit myself to Nazareth ship and a half. All right? So certainly with that example, that third example, we don't know what does it mean a half, okay? Well, Grimar is gonna deal, have to deal with that. The other two examples are gonna be easier compared to that question. So let's go on. What happens? Okay. In each of these cases, the result is we determine that the person has two consecutive terms of Nazareth. Okay. So the Gemara now raises the following shine. Question, why do we have to teach all three of these mm -hmm. examples. Wouldn't it be possible to take one and logically derive it from that? Okay, certainly in our first case, if you say committed to a Nazareth ship and one day, the extra day would seem to tell me that should be a, another term. And therefore, logically, it would tell me it should be two terms. If I can derive that from that first case, what about the other two cases? Okay, so what happens? Srichi, but we need to do this. Why? Because were it simply that the, our Mishnah had only taught our first example of a Nazareth term and one day, that's why we say, that Nizirut is not determined for a single day. Amtu lahachi, kamne tartu. Okay, and therefore we come to a result that we determine that we count it as 30. Okay, that's an additional commitment, and therefore that's 30 days. Aval hareni nazir v'sha'a achat. And what about then our second example, our second statement? where the person said, I'm a Nazareth for a complete term and one hour, okay? Limne shloshim ve'echad yom. Maybe there I might have thought, since I normally count Nazirut by days, even if he said one hour, it would have, maybe it would imply simply one additional day. So it would be, right? Maybe that's the case. Kamash malan comes to teach us that is not the case. Let's go over. Okay, and were we to have thought that it was a single hour, right? Because the statement is not precise. The word hour does, doesn't mean hour. It's okay. a short period. Okay, it does. It, in other words, we don't know. And remember, by the way, I was going to, you're right, but I was going to say, Remember that when we talk about, quote, an hour in the Gemara, we're not really talking about what we think of as a 60 minute segment of time. For the most part in their day, when they talked about hours, they were, well, they were talking about what I'll call Sha'od Zmaniot as well. A little while. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. But the but that uh, that's, that's an hour. okay no but the point is it's a period of time okay because their time was that they often had to determine the day based on the amount of daylight so there was a quote shorter hour or a longer hour 
shout, right? So therefore it has to mean only a certain period of time, okay? Mishum delo nechad adavka, ava achat umechti, but one and a half, the nechad ladevka, okay, where there we seem to be getting a precise designation. Ema lo limne tante. Maybe I might say there that I wouldn't count it as two full terms, but maybe as a term and a half a term. He has to say 45 okay. days. Right. Kamash Malan Kulhu Nazir Shtayim. And that is the reason that we learn it as that in that situation as well, with the third statement, it has to be two full terms. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go to our next Mishnah, right? Okay, stating that a Nazareth for a full term and a period of time in addition. Nazir Shloshim Ve'echad Yom, or he states commitment to Nazareth ship for 31 days. She'en Nazirut L'Sha'ot. Okay, surprising that this Yes, the word yom. Okay, right. But it's but again, it tells, it reminds us that remember all the Mishnayot were together, because having this Mishnah without that Gemara connected with the early one would have made a lot more sense. Okay, if you if you're now if you include a whole Mishnah that says we don't count it by hours. Okay, so what happens? Amar Rav says Rav. That is where the person clearly says, okay, that I say 30 and one day. Okay. But if they said 30 and day one. Okay. Shloshim v'yom echad. But if he said 31 days, right? Nazir Stein, Nazir, right? 30 plus one. Right, so in that case, would mean two terms of Nazareth. Okay, Rav Savarla to Rabbi Akiva. And Rav must be of the viewpoint, okay, of Rabbi Akiva. The Darish Lishna Yatera. That he basically bases it on a expounding of additional language. As we learned elsewhere, lo et habor, okay, velo et haduas, okay. In other words, when a person sells a house and a creation, what do they spell out, okay? If do they spell out the fact of what they're excluding, okay, or do they include certain other things as their understanding? So if it, so, our Mishnah there taught, okay that, okay, if the person is spelling, is indicating when the sale of the house, that they do not include the uh, cistern or a pit, okay, in those situations, the implication is that they've included that a right of way. If you, do not write, the if you don't write it into the into text. The contract, then it is not included in right. the Right, that's what I said. Check. Even though in the writing of the contract, he may have included the depth, the okay, or the height or things like, in other words, as many details, significant details. Nevertheless, in those situations, he would have to arrange for and purchase a right of way to get to those items. The Chachamim Omri, but the sages disagree and say, Ein Sarichli Kachlo Derech. There is no need for him to purchase a right of way to those two things. Why? Okay, because it's his understanding when he's writing the contract that he'll say okay, these things. Umode Rabbi Akiva, and Rabbi Akiva acknowledges Bizman Sha'amarlo chutz mi elu, and at a point where he clearly expresses, with the exception of these, she'enot tzarich likach lo derech. 
that he does not need then to purchase a right of way to get those items because he clearly determined, right, determined that those items were not included in the scene. Okay. Okay, tomorrow we'll start Chet and Murala for the new mission. Okay. okay, that's the problem. Okay, that the ambiguous language. Okay, remember we had that with Nadan too. Okay.